This is Frontline on Air. Major stories on the go. How Karnataka's maths reflect the interplay of power, piety and politics. The symbols of Lingayat power now stand poised to become political tools for scheduled caste status. By Vikhar Ahmed Saeed. Rising like a mesa amid the flat and arid countryside that surrounds it, Yattappa's hill looms ominously as one approaches it through narrow and dusty mud tracks surrounded by fields of groundnut and corn some 15 kilometers from Chalakere town in Chitradurga district in central Karnataka. Atop the hill is a shrine to Yattappa, the deity of the Kadugolla community, and the climb to the top is through a rocky goat trail. In keeping with the community's beliefs, there is no anthropomorphic sculpture or representation of Yattappa. Instead, a series of granite stones placed vertically in a semicircle and festooned with fresh marigold garlands reveal the spiritual significance of the site. Yattappa is very important for us and we want to establish a guru peetha a mutt led by a guru at this location said Budihalli Rajanna the Chalkere taluk president of the Kadugolla Sangha KGS as he completed a brief ritual at the shrine which was open to the elements but for the cover provided by a lone tree a few days earlier KGS members from across Karnataka had gathered here to discuss issues facing the community at the event the sangha's state president Rajanna no relation to Budi Hali Rajana said quote several castes all over Karnataka have their own guru peethas for the kadugollas the pilgrimage centers of yattappa and junjappa are akin to guru peethas and because of this we must develop yattappa's hill and make it a guru peetha he added quote our community has tribal characteristics and we have been struggling to get scheduled tribe status for many years there are efforts to divide the community but we should unite and ensure that this demand is fulfilled unquote according to rajanna there are 1250 kadugolla hatties or exclusive settlements across karnataka most of them in tumkuru and chitradurga districts these settlements at the periphery of villages have helped preserve the unique cultural world of the community Their settled counterparts are the Urugollas. In Kannada, Uru means village and Kadu means forest. The Gollas, both Urugollas and Kadu Gollas, are classified as a backward caste and are part of category 1, signifying their most backward status. A fight for SC ST status. Over the past few decades, various communities across the country have been striving to gain scheduled caste and scheduled tribe status, buoyed by the concomitant benefits that such a tag would secure for these caste and tribal groups. While such negotiations are part of India's social real politic and symbolize the success of its deep democracy, Rajanna in his statement draws a link between the establishment of a guru peetha or mutt to the community's demand for ST status. Other communities in Karnataka too have used the institution of the mutt to further their political agendas, but have not connected the two in the blunt way that Rajanna has done. This linkage will be familiar to people who have closely followed the distinctive development of various caste mutts or mathas in Karnataka, even by groups that did not have such a tradition or culture. On the face of it, the mutts are established to entrench a caste's spiritual practices and provide a locus for worship. But scholars have also pointed out that they have become spaces to astutely further the community's interests. Thus, the mutt and the guru who heads it are often enmeshed in the pursuit of power and in negotiating on behalf of the community with the state. An ancient history Mutts have an ancient history in the Karnataka region with the oldest ones set up and patronized by Brahmin subcastes going back more than a millennium. 
द श्रृंगेरी मठ और श्रृंगेरी शारदा पीठम इन चिकमगलुरु डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज सेट टू हैव बीन फाउंडेड बाय आदि शंकराचार्य द एथ सेंचुरी वैदिक फिलोसोफर सेंट फॉलोअर्स ऑफ अदर प्रोमिनेंट ब्राह्मण सेंट सच एज रामानुजाचार्य एंड मध्वाचार्य हु बिलोंग टू और ट्रेवर्स द रीजन also founded mats to spread the vedic philosophies of their gurus and contributed to the sharpening of the prevailing cleavages between these brahmin subcastes in the 12th century basavanna and his peers the vachana writers emerged as trailblazers in the northeastern region of present day karnataka with their radical creed that opposed vedic caste stratification for this The Lingayats as Basavanna's followers came to be known were persecuted and the movement almost collapsed before it was resuscitated in later centuries. The Lingayat Mats played a crucial role in this revival to the extent that the institution of the Mat is now intrinsically identified with the Lingayat community in Karnataka. The Mathadipati or Pontiff emerged as a powerful and influential community leader and the most famous lingayat mats have had an unbroken lineage of gurus down the centuries some established lingayat mats include the siddhaganga mat in tumkuru tontadarya mat in gadag suttur mat in mysuru and murugha mat in chitradurga this was the situation until the linguistic reorganization of states in 1956 when kannada speaking territories were merged to form mysore as karnataka was known until 1973 the incorporation of territories from the erstwhile bombay presidency and the hyderabad princely state with the mysore princely state meant that the vokaligas the large peasant community dominant in south karnataka contiguous with the mysore princely state were overwhelmed politically by the lingayats in the newly formed province of mysore Chafing at this turn of events in the 1970s the Vokaliga community coalesced around the Adi Tunchanagiri Math located in Mandya district which helped unify the community and catalyze its interests B L Shankar is a veteran politician who is now in the congress in a public discussion earlier this year he said quote after the unification of Karnataka Vokaligas could not become chief ministers and there was a fear that vokaligas would lose political power to the lingayats it was in the 1970s and early 1980s that balaganga dharnath swami ji who was the head of adi chunchankiri mat started identifying with vokaliga politicians and mobilizing them unquote mushrooming of mats sometime in the 1990s the lingayat pontiff of the murugha mat Shivamurti Murugha Sharanuru began to offer diksha or the initiation process among lingayats to novitiates from backward castes and even dalits. The Japanese scholar Aya Ikegame studied this exercise and wrote that the mats pontiff began to initiate disciples from lower castes as well as dalits and adivasis and encouraged them to start their own mats. After this period mats mushroomed in Karnataka with various lower castes organizing themselves around their own mat. K Kariswami, a Kannada freelance journalist, said the Devangas or weavers were the first to set up their own mat, followed by other backward caste communities such as Kurubas, shepherds, Valmikis, historically hunters, Uparas, salt makers, Lambanis, nomadic tribe classified as scheduled caste in Karnataka Madivadas washermen Madigas dalit subcaste and Vishwakarmas goldsmiths Kariswami chronicled this wave in 2000 and since then other backward castes and subcastes have set up their own mats and having one is now crucial in the journey of cohering a caste Many recently formed mats claim ancient and mythical vintages that are often fictional but still pivotal in the process of the caste's identity formation. The mats mushroomed so fast that there is no authentic count of their number now. 
The Kadugola's desire to establish a Guru Peetha must therefore be located in this long trajectory of Mats in Karnataka. There is already a Golla Mat in Chitradurga which has nascent connections with the Yadava or cowherd community of North India. This mutt was patronized by both the Urugollas and the Kadugollas in the past. But the Kadugollas resented their community's subsumption within the broader Golla identity. So, having their own Guru Peetha is seen as the best way to set themselves apart, preserve their tribal characteristics and unique cultural practices, and bolster their claim for ST status. Nobody denies the deep connection between politics and the mutts and their pontiffs in Karnataka. Since the late 1980s and 1990s, the backward caste mutts have become representatives of their community, giving its members, who used to be ignored by well-established theologians and politicians of the dominant castes, the chance to advance their worldly interests. The gurus are treated reverentially by the same people who did not respect them in the past. The extent of power each mutt can get for its members might be unclear, but the pontiff is assured a seat at the bargaining table. There is also another kind of aspiration at play. Some of the marginalized caste mutts aspire to reach the status of the more established Lingayat and Vokaliga mutts, which are sprawling, wealthy institutions that run a host of educational institutions and hospitals, with their influence equaling that of the state in the small towns. Many of the older mutts have a great track record of social service, but they have also gathered economic clout alongside spiritual cachet and political connections. Former Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa was the first major leader who explicitly acknowledged and took advantage of this connection between mutts and politics when he directly doled out budgetary grants for Lingayat mutts during his tenure as Chief Minister between 2008 and 2011, and to a lesser extent during his stint as Deputy Chief Minister between 2006 and 2007. The facade of the invisible line that divided religion and politics was emphatically broken. But it paid dividends. The pontiffs faithfully stood by Yadurappa whenever his chief ministership was threatened. Election Blessings When elections approach, politicians across party lines make a beeline to the mutt to seek the blessings of the pontiffs. This was visible during the assembly election earlier this year and will recur before the Lok Sabha election next year. While scholars contend that the mutt's ability to sway votes is exaggerated, politicians prefer to play it safe. Earlier this year, Karnataka saw how influential these pontiffs could be when Nirmalanandanatha Swami of Mandya's Adi Chunchungiri Mutt forbade BJP politicians from spreading the fake history of two Vokkaliga soldiers killing Tipu Sultan in 1799 during the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War. This myth, created over the past few years, acquired a patina of truth after being repeated by BJP politicians, but was not repeated after the pontiff's curt rebuke. Seers of mutts also get routinely involved in contemporary politics when they lead agitations that demand an increase in reservation to benefit their caste members. Scholars have also pointed out the subtle influence that mutts have had on Karnataka society. First, the formation of mutts has increased caste consciousness in the state, emphasizing the existing fractures within society. As caste members coalesce around a mutt and its pontiff, they begin to privilege their differences with other castes. Second, the formation of a mutt helps in the process of Sanskritization that aids merging with a broader Hindu identity. Sanskritization is a term propounded by the sociologist M. N. Srinivas, referring to the process by which lower castes seek upward mobility by mimicking the rituals and practices of the upper castes. Aditya Bharadwaj, a Bengaluru-based journalist, recalled that in 2022, Education Minister B.C. Nagesh in the previous BJP government held a meeting with Hindu seers and one of the Brahmin seers said that only sattvic food, that is vegetarian food without onion and garlic, should be served in schools and no eggs should be provided. Madhara Chennaya, a Dalit pontiff, did not object to the statement. 
This shows that these mutts operate within a sort of Brahminical framework which they impart to the community, Bharatwaj said. Therefore, the aspirational rise in social hierarchy that the new mutts envisage also leads to changes in cultural practices within the community when these gurus begin to mimic the religious rituals of the dominant caste. According to Kariswami, there was nothing revolutionary or progressive in Shivamurti Murugha Sharanuru's encouragement of backward castes to form their own mutts in the 1990s. None of these gurus have anything to do with Basava's anti-caste philosophy. They perform privileged caste rituals and play down their own rich, non-Sanskritic culture. These mutts are only catalyzing the Sanskritization of the backward castes, he says. The Dalit poet Siddhalingaya, who passed away in 2021, once remarked on the new mutts, quote, The backward castes had the freedom to think progressively because they had no mutts. Instead of letting our friendships, education, books and films shape our personalities, we are now letting the mutts do it. Back on Yattapa's hill, speaking to the Kadugolla leaders, it becomes clear that they have not thought through the various cultural questions that the formation of a Guru Pitha will raise. For them, the Mutt fulfills an instrumental goal, which is to bolster their demand for recognition as a scheduled tribe. Their single-minded goal shows how crucial the institution of the Mutt has become in the politics and society of Karnataka. This is Frontline on Air. Major stories on the go.